An Auburn soldier who lost part of his leg in Iraq is now walking better than he has in years thanks to a new kind of prosthetic foot. Well being reporter Alyssa Ivinson has more. Private first class Matt Pedersen doesn't have to think about where he's walking anymore. I can walk upstairs a lot easier. I can walk up like anybody else does on the balls of their feet. Uh, if I step in a hole in the grass, it'll pop me back up to, to keep on walking. Uh, I can go down hills, up hills, any kind of terrain I can go through, or just adjust uh, to anything, really. It is this. The Powerfoot Biome. Pedersen is the first Hoosier to give the new prosthetic ankle a try. It's a pretty awesome thing. I've really enjoyed having it for the last two months. It's made my life a lot better now. Pedersen was deployed to Iraq in August 2004. In November, his unit was hit by a car bomb. Our truck spun around twice. Uh, the truck was on fire. I was pulled out by my comrades and taken to Balad a Hospital in Iraq. He had emergency surgery to save his life, but doctors couldn't save his right leg. It was amputated below the knee. In the last six years, Pedersen's had about six different prosthetic legs, but none like the power foot. This one, it responds to me when I walk. The slower I walk, the less power it gives me. Um, but the faster I walk, the more it gives me. It does push off from the toes, which gives you the feeling of a uh, more natural feeling. The powered push off is the biggest difference. It returns more energy than other prosthetic legs, helping propel the person in each step and acting more like a normal foot. Move along at a rate that his peers might move, or move along. It allows him to get through a, a, a normal day, uh, not feeling like you know he's ready to take his leg off at the end of the day. A lot of people don't really notice that I have a prosthetic leg. If I wear pants or anything like that, they don't, um, they don't really see me as an amputee, which is nice too. So I can kind of blend in with the crowd. The power foot runs on a battery pack. Each battery has 10 to 12 hours of walk time and only takes 45 minutes to charge. For Stories for Your Well-Being, I'm Alyssa Ivan.